Dr. Swarajla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. What genetic causes could lead to male infertility? Let's try to see a few important factors. The first one is Klein-Filter syndrome, which is a very commonly occurring uh, syndrome which causes infertility in males. As you are aware, a male to be male, as in you know uh, the differentiation between a female and a male, is a uh, one particular chromosome called the Y chromosome. So while a female has two X chromosomes, the male has one X and one Y chromosome. In Klein-Filter syndrome, these patients are having one extra Y chromosome. So they have two X's and one Y, due to which there could be a problem in their reproductive system. Secondary sexual characters also differ depending on the expression of this extra X chromosome. So let's talk about what happens in the reproductive system. There could be reduced sperm production and this sperm production also could be affected uh, maybe by this expression of the extra X chromosome. In some cases, there is no production of sperm at all. So there could be azoospermia which could be caused due to this extra X chromosome. So it's a very important factor and a very commonly occurring genetic cause of infertility in male. Especially when it is azoospermia, we would like to get this uh, test done. Then we talk about Y chromosome microdeletion. As I told you, Y chromosome is very important for se secondary sexual characters, for sperm production. All these are affected by the presence of Y chromosome. And if there are any micro deletions on the genes that are present on this chromosome, it could lead to infertility. Uh, these patients have known to show that morphologically poor sperm are produced because of this micro deletion. There could be low motility because of this micro deletion in Y chromosome. Also, the count could be reduced in some patients. Worse uh, case scenario is when no sperms are produced at all uh, and they are azoospermic. So, it is to say that this Y chromosome, which has micro deletions, has a lot of expression of this deletion due to which there are no sperms produced. Then let's talk about CFTR gene. It's a very important gene that manifests in various forms. It could lead to something called as cystic fibrosis. And when we're talking about male reproductive damage is caused by this CFTR gene uh, mutation or cystic fibrosis, it could lead to blockage in the entire system. That is, sperms are produced, but they are not transported out and in, in the ejaculation, there could be no sperms at all. Now, it could also manifest as uh, no development of, you know, this uh, part where the testis is able to flush out these sperms which are produced. So, not just blockage, it could lead to missing parts of the reproductive system due to which the sperms cannot be delivered outside. Then we talk about Kalman syndrome. Kalman syndrome, much like how it manifests itself in females, the, the manifestation is the same as in GnRH hormone is not produced properly or at all from the brain. So, in, in females, in a previous video I had said that it it uh, does not lead to the production of estrogen or progesterone. In males, it hampers the production of testosterone. As we are aware, testosterone is very important for secondary sexual uh, characters and uh, growth of hair, growth of body, growth of uh, body parts. But it's also very important for production of sperms. So in Kalman syndrome, there could be no sperms produced also depending upon the severity of the expression of this problem. So if you want to understand more, if you want to get tests done, which could lead to uh, some kind of an answer to your uh, azoospermic condition or to the condition of not having sperms, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.